Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Smuggler's Copter and I'm going to make the video very clear. I like it. I don't like it at $5.76, but that's not what he's currently selling at. I like it at $4 in trade and I like it $3 buy as of today. And I feel like that's very, people are trading them at my locals for $4 or even less. Uh, they just want to get rid of them because my local player base is standard. All the locals around me are standard, so they have no use for a card that was banned. However, there are two formats that are interesting for this card. One is Frontier, and the second is Modern. Frontier, I'm not going to get into too much because, I don't know, I'm not just not going to focus on Frontier right now. I'll focus on Modern. Whenever a card is banned in Standard or Modern or something, that tells me this card is very, very good. Now, you might be like, oh, MTG line, that's obvious. Everyone knows this card is good. But how good is it? It's good enough to be banned. It's good enough that it controls the meta. And when I look at cards like that, it really intrigues me from a long-term hold. So again, if you can get these in $4 trade, get them in $4 trade. $5 trade is probably a little too high. I would probably wait a little bit longer. But right now, they're trading for $4 in my locals. And I do expect them to eventually be trading a $4 at every local when the price keeps going down. When I look at back-breaking cards that have to be banned, like JST Mind Sculptor, I remember that banning very well. Stoneforge Mystic, you could play it. The only way that you could play it is using that awful dual deck or the awful event deck. And you couldn't add cards to the event deck. I remember that. That was an interesting time. I like it a ton because that just tells me that power level is pushed and when they make a ban that means largely the next batch of cards that are being so i'm a cat is probably okay but then set after i'm a cat will probably be super weak because that's what happened with um the pharaoh's block right that was a super weak block i don't care what anyone that says about it, the gods and all the man the cards sucked like i'm not gonna lie man the cards sucked and battle for zen card was an awful set so what happens is they push the power level, then they're like, oh, sh like with Abrupt Decay, RTR was very good. Uh, Death Rite Shaman, which is banned in Modern, is was very good. Then they push the power level of cards, and then they're like, oh, cool. Well, this card is too strong. We need to ban it, or we need to get rid of it. Thank goodness it rotated out. And the next few sets that we're going to create will be super weak. Super duper weak. I mean, Journey into Nyx, that was really bad. And that's just how magic goes. It goes in cycles. So I'm guessing the next few cycles will be very bad in terms of modern playable cards. Meaning Smuggler's Copter, although it does not see so much play modern right now, is interesting because its power level is insane. And we have to talk about another factor that I always look at is meta. One of the best lessons I've learned, and I'll take an example of this, is pick the card that is not in meta, but it's very strong. Because that's the card that will go up in price. Like, let's for, say, for instance, RTR, Temple Garden, because green-white was the best deck at the time in standard, was a $12 Shockland, or $12, $14, $15 Shockland. Steam Vents was a $5 Shockland at the time, so you essentially could get two or three Steam Vents for the price of... A temple garden now I will trade all my temple gardens for two shock lands or two uh, steam vents because steam vents was the lowest shock land blue red was extremely re weak in RTR block and I would say okay that's cool that's good then one day blue red delver became something cool and modern and the steam vents was the most valuable shock land uh, especially after the meta chains and people will play mono black and all these like mono blue and all these mono color decks and that didn't involve green or white so very intriguing and that's the same way i feel about smuggler's copter if the card is strong enough and the meta is not correct that's when you buy it you don't buy a card that's very strong and the meta is like promoting it the meta means what decks are playing it Tamagoyf is very, very strong, but the current meta makes it extremely weak. Dark Confidant on paper is extremely strong, but the current meta hates it in modern. Like, it's terrible in modern. And Tamagoyf is not any better. It's a Tamagoyf, like, sees 
top play top eight decks once in a blue moon or something like that. But its power level is insane. It's only going to get stronger. This is Smuggler's Copter. I my gut feeling is it will only get stronger in time. And it is a very, very pushed card, and we are not going to see that many pushed cards moving forward. We might see good cards, we might see okay cards, but we're not going to see cards that will get banned again, because it's kind of like Pi and Wizard of Coast's face. They're not going to get... They are going to intentionally make cards weaker after this banning. Not the sets that are already created, but the sets that come after that. So maybe after Amaket, whatever is after that, Atlantis or something, we will get like very weak sets, mainly because that's how magic works. Magic produces strong cards. The strong cards like Defrai Shaman get banned. And then the R&D uh, R says, oh, well, that card was banned. So I need to, uh, we need to make weak cards so we don't get banned. And then you get a crappy block like Journey to Nyx. Or you get something like Battle for Zendikar. I mean, it's just like, okay, cool, right? Anyway, so those are my opinions. Leave me a comment below if you agree, disagree. Smuggler's Copter at four dollars for is a trade for me. Three dollars is when I will look very closely on accumulating as many as possible. Anyway, bye guys.